Hello friends, this is me Zubair Ahmad and welcome to my channel Learn and Live MD once again. So today in this video, I am going to discuss about the rank higher list. As once you are done with your USMD exams and you are applying for your main residency made through the NLMP and you will get interviews. As today is 23rd uh, January and the session of the interview is about to end. So the next step in the match process is the submission of the rank higher list. So in this uh, recording, I will discuss with you about how the algorithm of the rank order list works and what are the like the submission dates and the deadline of the rank order list. Uh, before that, uh, let me tell you one thing like for the rank order list, uh, the applicants as well as programs both has to submit the rank order list. For example, some applicants like got like 10, 15 interviews, they have to give their choice like this is this program is my first, this is second, this is third, like that. And also if some program has like uh, interviewed 200, 400, 500 candidates and they are ranking like 100 candidates so they will also give the list to the NRMP like this candidate is my first choice, this is my second, this is third, that's how uh, they both like give the rank and the algorithm works and finally the result of the match will come like whoever is getting match where uh, according to the algorithm. So let's study how the algorithm of the rank color list works. Um, uh, before starting the algorithm let me tell you one thing like uh, the algorithm, the rank color list algorithm always favors the applicant not the program. Uh, let me give you an example how it favors the applicants. For example, we have the applicant and uh, like he or she ranked three programs A, B and C. And now we have the same programs A, B and C. So if applicant ranked the program A as number one, B as number two and C as number three. And now if, for example, these all programs has, uh, for example, five positions for the PG by one. Okay. And this program ranked like the program A ranked the applicant as number three and these programs rank the applicant as number one. So as the applicant's first choice is program A, so the algorithm will start from the program A and we know like uh, the program has the five vacancies. So this applicant for sure will fall under this program because this is in, uh, like the applicant ranked this program is number one and the program ranked as number three, but they have the five C's. So this pro applicant will uh, match under the program A. Even though the program B and C rank uh, the applicant as number one, but the program B and C are not the first choice for the applicant. That's why the applicant will go to the program A, not the B and C. Now, let me explain more deeply. Like for example, we have the program like applicant has the three uh, programs in the rank list A, B, C, and rank like is one, two, three respectively. And now, the if uh, the program A did not rank the applicant, for example, this program did not rank the applicant, and program B. Uh, uh, rank the applicant as number 10 and they have for example 15 positions for PG by 1 and this program ranked like the C program applicant is number 3 and this one also has 15 positions for PG by 1. So as the applicant's number one choice is program A and but the program A did not rank the applicant so this applicant will not, with, will not match with the program A. Now if we have uh, like the program now the algorithm will go to the program B because that is the second choice for the applicant and that uh, for example it, it has 15 C's and uh, positions and the they rank the pro uh, like the applicant as the 10th number so for sure this applicant will fall under the program B because they ranked him as 10 and it has like total 15 positions so this will automatically will get matched with the program B for example if the program ranked the applicant as the number 50, not the 10, uh, 25, not the 10. So in this case, if the applicant is uh, like the, uh, they have 15 C's program, but they rank the applicant as 25. If the applicants, the programs like the positions are filling before reaching the number 25. So that means, uh, for example, they read their number 15 at uh, what we can say like a number 20 for example. So also this applicant will not match here because this was made after 20 positions and they fill their positions uh, before reaching his number. And But if they ranked uh, like as 25 and uh, they didn't fill the position till reaching the 25 number, so this applicant will match in the program B automatically. If the applicant is not reaching uh, like uh, at the uh, position, uh, like the, uh, at, at the position 15 before or uh, this his number, so that means he will not get matched and the algorithm will work at the program C. And for example, this is the 15 C's and applicants is ranked at number three. And now for sure this applicant will rank under this like the program C. This is how the program 
uh, rank order list match uh, algorithm works and that is where the power of rank order list come to you that you are the deciding person mostly where you end up with matching so this is how the whole algorithm of for the uh, the rank order list works so as you will see in the uh, nrmp website for the 2025 match decision match applicants calendar uh, i will post this link in the uh, my description too you can so that you can easily get access to that link so here are the, like the deadline and days like from the july 1 to september 25 so the this is the part the research of the program like you can see the programs and their position and the registration was starting from the september 16 which has already been uh, passed and from the january 31 this is the standard registration deadline like the applicant standard registration deadline for the march and um, for the may and so and uh, if someone did not apply until uh, January th 31st and they want to apply like late in the February or in the March, there will be additional $50 fees for late registration after January 31st. And um, here is the main like uh, today's topic of discussion, like the ranking. So the ranking opens from the February 3rd. So as you are already registered with, uh, to the NRMP, uh, uh, as I already uh, recorded and uploaded a video uh, at my YouTube channel for the NRMP, I will also post the link for that too in my description. If you didn't, you can watch and get help to um, registration with the NRMP uh, registration process. So the ranking will start from the February 3rd. So they will start uh, ranking and uh, the deadline for the ranking is the March 5th. So this is the deadline, like this is the last date for the uh, submitting of your rank order list. And the may be the March 17th. So this is the date when at around like 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern time zone, you will receive the result of the match, like either you're uh, lucky to get met or not. Um, so that's how the rank order list algorithm works. And uh, one more thing uh, I would like to discuss with you, like uh, a few of my parents were asking me about the ranking, like which program they should rank at the top, which should be at the last. Uh, so uh, this completely, in my view, is the personal choice of the applicant. So it depends upon the multiple factors, like uh, if you got interview, some are from the university program, some are from the community program. So it depends upon you, wherever you want to be trained. Like if you want to be in the university program, so just for the university programs at the top and the committee programs at uh, the last and also uh, one uh, like it also depends upon the visa type like some programs uh, offer the h1b visa and some programs offer the j1b visa both programs have their own benefits and their own uh, risks and uh, the topics uh, so it's once again upon uh, completely is upon you like uh, whatever you want to choose, whichever you want to choose. And uh, also for the uh, environmental factors, like some, for example, someone has their dream to be get trained in the programs in the New York. So for sure he or she will uh, rank the programs in the New York at the top, where, from wherever she, uh, he or she got the uh, interviews. And if you have any program near to your family, uh, like uh, you are near to your any home or family, so you uh, will prefer for the uh, when that program to be at the top of the list. So it's completely upon the choice of the applicant. And also when you are in, uh, being interviewed, you have discussion with the chiefs and you must ask the, some questions from about the program from the program writer and from the uh, other interview. And you also did some research about the program. So which, uh, which features and uh, which program you like the most, you will rank at the top. And one more thing I will tell you, like if you do not want to be trained somewhere from where you got the interview, please do not rank that program. Uh, and in my next uh, video, I will try to discuss about the SOAP, like how the process of SOAP works and their timelines and the deadlines. Uh, so I will try to record a video as soon as possible uh, for the SOAP. And up to this stage, if you have any questions and concerns, you can comment below. I will try as much as I can help you. And thank you so much.